Hello students, uh, welcome to your first video lesson for virtual geometry. Today we are going to be talking through section 6-1. Uh, we're going to be talking about angles in polygons. Okay, so chapter 6 is all about polygons and polygons is something we've talked about before. Um, convex, concave, octagon, pentagon, hexagon, that kind of stuff. So we're going to see all those different things in chapter six. Um, as I mentioned in class last week, after section 6.1, which is what we'll talk about today, um, we focus in mostly on four-sided shapes, which we call quadrilaterals. So you're going to hear a lot more about that in subsequent videos. But for today, we're going to start just by looking at a couple of different polygons here that I've drawn. Uh, we have a quadrilateral here, which is specifically a rectangle. We have a pentagon over here, one, two, three, four, five sides, kind of looks like a house. And here we have my best attempt at an octagon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides in the octagon. Um, what we're gonna talk about is um, the angles inside of these polygons. Okay, so in the rectangle, we sort of know each one of these is 90 degrees. Okay, but in other quadrilaterals, other four-sided shapes, they don't have to be 90 degrees. Um, in this five-sided shape, obviously, we have five angles here. In this eight-sided shape, we have eight angles, of course, one at each corner. So we're going to try to come up with a rule for the sum, meaning the total of these uh, angles inside of any polygon. Okay, and it's based on the number of sides, and hopefully you'll see that here in just a second. So what I'm going to remind you all of is that the angles in a triangle add to what? This is something that hopefully we all know from chapter four, chapter three, and before. Always add to 180 degrees, right? So angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. That's kind of our starting point and a very key piece of information we need to remember. Okay, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this rectangle here and I'm going to go to one of my vertices or corners and I'm gonna draw a diagonal. So remember from our discussion of polygons previously, diagonals are lines that connect corners that are not next to each other. They're not connected by uh, a side of the shape. So in this particular case, if I start in this top left corner and I draw this line down to here, I've just drawn a diagonal, okay? Now from this top left corner of my rectangle, there is no other diagonal that I can draw. The only one that exists goes from this corner down to this corner, okay? But what I've essentially done is I have, I might do it again in black here real quick, um, is I have cut my rectangle into two triangles. Hopefully we can see that here, right? I have cut it into this triangle here and this triangle here. And we should know from previous chapters that the angles inside each of these triangles add up to 180 degrees, right? This angle plus this angle plus this angle here, they need to add up to be 180 degrees. Okay, but I could do that for the other triangle as well right? This angle down here, this angle up here, this angle over here, they also need to add up to 180 degrees. So if I were to add up both of these triangles together, their angles would add up to be 360 degrees, right? 360 degrees. Now, what you need to recognize is that adding up those two triangles angles is exactly the same thing as adding up the four angles that were originally in the shape, right? Because uh, for example, if I take this and I do it in red, this angle of this top triangle and then this angle of the bottom triangle together make one of the angles in my four-sided shape. Same thing at the top here. And then, of course, this one over here and then this one down here were already angles in my four-sided shape. So adding together these triangles is really adding up all the angles of, these, uh, of this four-sided shape here, this rectangle. So this... Um, idea that a four-sided shape, its angles, its four angles, will always add up to 360 degrees, 
Okay, that's always gonna be true for the rest of your lives. A four-sided polygon, if you add up all the four angles inside of that shape, it will have to add up to 360 degrees, okay? Now I'm gonna do a similar thing with the pentagon here. Um, I'm not gonna talk you through everything necessarily, but uh, I wanna do this in black. I'm going to draw diagonals from my top corner of my pentagon to every other corner that I possibly can. And in this case, there are only two. There are two diagonals that I can draw in this case. Um, and now I have divided my five-sided shape into three triangles, right? There's a triangle here, there's a triangle here, and there's a triangle over here. So I have three triangles, okay? Now each of those triangles, if we were to add up the three angles in the triangles, would add up to be 180 degrees, right? That's what we're basing all of this on. So this uh, five-sided shape, this pentagon here, its angles, its interior angles, all together, if I were to add all of them up, it would equal 180 plus 180 plus 180. So that's you know also known as 180 times three, right? 180 times three, which equals 540 degrees, okay? So in a five-sided shape, it is always true that the angles in a five-sided shape will always add up to be 540 degrees. All the time, every time, no matter what the five-sided shape looks like, as long as it's a five-sided polygon, um, I should say convex polygon, not necessarily true for concave polygons, the ones that bend in on themselves weird, but convex five-sided shapes will always have interior angles that add up to 540, okay? Now, last thing I'm gonna do real quick is do the same thing with this eight-sided shape. It might take me a little bit longer, um, because I'm going to go, let's say from this bottom left corner, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw every diagonal that I possibly can back to that corner. Okay, so I'm doing this and I'm doing this. And then I got this one down here. Okay, so now if we look at this shape, I think I have divided this into one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. And each of my six triangles if I were to add up their inside angles, it would be 180 degrees. So this eight-sided shape, its angles add up to 180 times six. Okay, 180 times six is what? 600, 1,080, I believe. Okay, 1,080 degrees. So in an eight-sided shape, if we add up all the inside angles, okay, they will add up to be 1,080 degrees all the time, every time, no matter what. Now, let it be known that I do not really need uh, these diagonals here. So I can go ahead and get rid of all of these diagonals. Uh, I might have to move that for just a second. I can get rid of all of these guys. Okay, and now it still applies. Okay, I don't need to divide the shape into its, its triangles in order to see this. If I were to add up this angle, this angle, this angle over here, this angle over here, this angle over here, this angle over here, all eight of these angles, if I were to add all of these up, those eight angles would add up to be 1,080 degrees, okay? So now let's talk through the rule. Okay, so here's what we just found out, uh, or here's a general summary of, of what I hope you get from this. If I have a four-sided shape, by drawing one diagonal, I can divide it into two triangles. If I have a five-sided shape, I can divide that into three triangles. If I have an eight-sided shape, I divided that into six triangles. If I had a nine-sided shape, I could divide it into seven triangles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The general rule is the number of triangles we can create from any polygon by just drawing diagonals across it is the number of sides it has, which we call n, n for number of sides, minus two. Okay, so if you have, let's say, a 14-sided shape, okay, 14 sides, how many triangles could we make? We could make 12, okay, we can make 12 triangles. So what that allows us to do then is find the sum or the total of the interior angles for any polygon as long as we know how many sides it has by doing this, okay? Here's our formula. 
please write this down in your notes. N minus two times 180 degrees. Now, why do we times by 180 degrees? Because we're making triangles, remember? And we're basing all of this on this idea. Triangles add up to 180. So however many triangles you can make times 180 degrees will tell you the total amount um, that those interior angles of that polygon will add up to. Okay, so this formula is very, very important. Now, um, this stuff is all gonna go away and uh, we're gonna talk through just one real quick example, uh, maybe two, the different ways that you could see this. Um, so the first option is, let's say I told you I have a 17 gone, okay? Hopefully we remember that 17 gone really means 17 sided shape, okay? 17 sided shape is what I mean here. If I wanted you to find for me the total of the interior angles, we would just follow that formula, right? 17 is gonna be my number of sides, so I'm simply going to do 17 minus two, oops, I need a text box here. 17 minus two, well that's 15. So then I'll do 15 times 180, you know, and I'll do my math that way, 15 times 180, which would be what? 1800 plus 500 is 2300 plus 400, 2700. 2,700, you can check my math if you want. I don't have a calculator handy right now, but I suppose I could get one. Um, but we do this and we find this as the answer, okay? The sum total of all the angles inside that 17-sided shape. It doesn't really matter what the 17-sided shape looks like. All of its interior angles together will add up to 2,700 or 15 times 180, okay? So that's one thing that you'll be asked to do in your practice problems tomorrow. Um, another thing that you might be asked to do is you might be asked to do this essentially backwards, okay? So what that means is uh, we can take, uh, let's say we know that there's 900. 900 degrees okay, is the sum total of the angles inside my polygon but I don't know how many sides it has, okay? So that's what I'm gonna to try to figure out. Based on the total of the angles, can I figure out how many sides? And the answer is yes, I just set up a little algebra equation based on that formula that I had up before, okay? So we have our formula N minus two, okay, times, I'll put times like that for right now, times 180, when I do that formula, I need it to equal, in this case, 900 degrees, right? Because that's what I was told my, my polygon's interior angles add up to is 900 degrees. So I do N minus two times 180, that equals 900 degrees. And then I'm gonna just solve this for N, okay? So let's talk through how we would solve this for N. The first thing that I want you to recognize is that there is a multiplication by 180. So when I'm solving equations, I wanna make sure that I'm undoing things, right, in the opposite order of operations. So in this case, I'm gonna leave the parentheses alone and I'm gonna immediately undo the times 180. So I'm gonna divide by 180. I apologize for my penmanship right now. Divide this by 180. And that's gonna be what I have for n minus two. So now I know n minus two is equal to 900 divided by 180. Well, how many 180s go into 900? Five, I believe. So n minus two in this case is equal to five. And now the last step to figure out what n is, is oh, well, I'll just undo the minus two by adding two plus two on both sides. And I arrive at n equals seven. So the shape that I must have been talking about, if it had 900 degrees total, is a seven-sided shape, okay? So n is equal to seven. So we can figure out how many sides based on the angles. We can figure out the angles based on the sides, okay? Just a couple examples there for you. All right, uh, next piece of vocabulary is uh, we need to understand when your book talks about a regular polygon, what are they talking about, okay? A regular polygon. 
So here's the general idea with a regular polygon. It is a polygon, okay, any shape, five sides, two sides, well, it can't be two sides, three, four, five, six, seven, 100 sides, doesn't matter. Any polygon that has all equal angles and all equal sides, okay? All equal angles and all equal sides make a regular polygon, quote unquote regular. That's what we mean when we say a polygon is regular. It means every angle is the same number of degrees. Every side length is exactly the same as well. All congruent sides, all congruent angles. Maybe I should change that. Maybe I should make it say congruent. Congruent angles and all congruent sides, okay? So what you could be asked to do is you could be asked to find each individual angle in a regular polygon, okay? For example, if we have a regular pentagon, what is the sum of, excuse me, not, not what is the sum, what is the measure of each interior angle? Okay, what is the measure of each interior angle in a regular pentagon? Well, the first thing to answer in this case is, well, in a regular pentagon or in any pentagon, well, how many sides does it have first of all? Five sides in a pentagon. In a five-sided shape, what is the sum total of all the interior angles? Okay, and that question is again answered by our formula, n minus two, in this case, five minus two, times 180, and that in this case equals 540, okay? Because five uh, minus two is three times 180 is 540 degrees. So this right here, Okay, this is not my answer. 540 is not my answer, but it is my first step to get my answer. That's the sum total of all the angles in the shape. I'm being asked, what is the measure of each? The only reason I can do this is because I know the pentagon is regular. And remember what regular means. It means all the angles are congruent. So all five of my angles have to have the same measurement. So what I can do is I can take this 540 right? And I can do 540, 540, and I can divide that by the number of angles, by the number of sides, by five, and that will tell me the measure of each interior angle in this regular pentagon. So 540 divided by five is 108 degrees. So my final answer here would be 108 degrees, okay? There we go, 108 degrees. That is the measure of each interior angle. So you can always take the sum total that we found with our formula from before and divide it by the number of sides if you know that that shape is regular to find each interior angle, okay? All right, last thing to discuss, and this is gonna sort of go back to what we talked about earlier. Um, we need to talk about exterior angles. We dealt with interior angles, the ones inside of the shape, now we need to talk about exterior angles, right? I'm going to quickly draw for myself a pentagon, five-sided shape, just because it's one of the easier ones to draw. And we'll connect like that. Okay, so there I have a pentagon. It's a five-sided shape. Remember when we talked about triangles, when we, when we discuss an exterior angle of a polygon, we create exterior angles by extending one of our sides, right? One of our sides in one direction will create an exterior angle, okay? Exterior angles created by extending one side. Okay, so if I create an exterior angle for this pentagon, let's say I'm just gonna extend this side right here, okay? There I have created an exterior angle. Let's see if I can line it up a little bit better, okay? So there I have an exterior angle, it's right there, right? That is an exterior angle of this pentagon, okay? Um, I can do that all the way around my shape. And in fact, I am going to do that, extending sort of the same direction, working around my shape, extending each side in one direction. So this one I'm going to extend up this way. This one I'm going to extend out this way. This one I'm going to extend out this way. Okay, and then this one I'm going to extend uh, down this way. Okay, so now I have five exterior angles 
which should make sense. I have one exterior angle at each corner, one exterior angle at each corner, okay? So if I were to measure out each of these angles, each of these five, they're not all the same, but in a regular pentagon, they would be, by the way, they would be. Um, each, uh, sorry, if I were to measure out each of these and I were to sum up their measures, it's basically the same as going around a circle one time, okay? So if I go around a circle one time, if we're familiar at all with a circle and how many degrees that would be, if I go all the way around the circle one time, it's going to be 360 degrees, okay? Now, the interesting thing is this exterior angle idea is not specific to the number of sides of the shape. So what we can say is the exterior angles of a polygon, no matter how many sides, is always 360 degrees. Okay, always, 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 no matter how many sides it has, it's always 360 degrees. I don't care if it's a three-sided shape or a five-sided shape, 10-sided shape, 100-sided shape, 6,000-sided shape. The sum of the exterior angles will always be 360 degrees because it's like working around a circle one time. Okay, now we can use this for a lot of information as well, but just please be aware, anytime a question asks about exterior angles, the sum total, regardless of what shape it is, has to be 360 degrees, okay? So we've covered interior angles of polygons. We've got a little formula for that. We talked about what it means for a polygon to be regular. We talked about uh, exterior angles of a polygon as well and how they always add up to 360 degrees no matter how many sides. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Otherwise, you do have uh, some book work to do. Uh, which is on your weekly schedule for tomorrow. And uh, that's all I have for right now. Have a good one.